Hi and welcome back to the FTV hack tutorial. I was going to start getting into web browser navigation and redirection today, but realized we don't have a proper MP4 address yet to redirect to the media player. So today I'm going to show you how to parse out the HTML links in a web page, change them, and reinsert them into the document for viewing and usage. To begin with, we need to find where in the document the HTML URLs are stored. Using Firebug, I was able to determine that the section of the page I want to display is under a div node with an attribute named class equals content. Using that, we want an XPath expression that looks kind of like this. Now if you're not familiar with the XPath, I've included a great link for a crash course tutorial in the description. Failing that, let me go ahead and describe what this says here. The slash slash star selects all elements in the entire document. The rest of this will actually select all elements which have the class equals content attribute. Now selecting a single node will not work too well at this point as this query will return several results instead of just one. So what we're going to want to do is change this to select nodes which will bring back multiple nodes with this search query. Now this breaks the previous code we had as there is more than one selected node being returned. To solve this we're going to use a for each loop to return each node and work with them individually. Now, this creates a new variable, b, out of each node inside a browser, and will append each line's b, enter HTML, to the output. Now let's go ahead and format this a little bit. We'll add some break lines since it goes into a web browser. Running this in debug will return a nice long list of the class equals content boxes, fairly formatted in a straight line, scroll down in, but the URLs will still go to the account purchase screen. We can't be having that. So what we're going to want to do is redirect the URLs inside of our output string and change them so that it goes to where we want. Now to do this, we're going to want to create a new method. We're going to want to return a string, call it URL Fixer. Now in order to fix the URL, we're going to have to bring in one. So we're going to bring in the inner text from variable B. Make a string replace equals URL fixer B dot inner text. This will return our fixed URL once we're done with our URL fixer. Now if you remember from our concepts video, it's pretty simple. We take the URL string, we cut out images and replace it with videos, and then we tag on an MP4 at the end of the string. So we're going to start with a string S. We'll make that the inner text. And we're going to want an integer. We're going to start it at s.index of the front bracket and the end integer s.index of the last bracket. What this does is it's actually going to take out the link without using regex expressions because if you use regex expressions you then have two problems. So we're going to call a string make this the result. We're going to use substring call start plus 2 to get rid of the brackets and end will minus the start and will minus another 2 for the ending brackets and this will pull out our string. Now we're going to want another one uh, for the beginning We'll call it the start URL, and then we want the end URL. We'll just do .mp4. Then we want to put it all together. Watch me. Start URL plus result plus the end of the URL, and then we return. Watch me. And this will give you the string that you need, the URL to find the video. Now this won't actually replace the URL. It only fixes it. You'll notice up here. We're doing a replace of the inner text, but it's only a string that's pulling out. So we're going to need another method. We're going to call this one replace URLs. And it's going to need a few things. It's going to need an HTML string, and it's going to need a replacement string. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to use the HTML agility pack. You're actually going to have to call the HTML agility pack to use the HTML document here. We'll call it the doc. Then we load up the document with the HTML string we are sent, and then we're going to do a for each loop. What we're going to do here is we're going to search through the whole string that we enter for links that are href links that will go somewhere, and we're going to replace them with links that we've created in the URL fixer. So for each 
HTML node. We'll call it link in doc dot document node. Let's select nodes. Select the A links, the A elements, the href attributes. For each one, we want the HTML attribute to equal the link dot attributes of the href. And then we're just going to replace it. So att.value now equals replacement. Now we come outside of the for each loop and we return doc document node select single node and we want to return the entire thing so we're just going to do a slash slash star which is a wild card to pull everything back we need to return a string so we will return the inner html and bam we now have our replace earls and our earl fixer to actually call this up we're going to want to call another string make this video earl equals replace earls b dot inner html replace because we're going to replace it with that string that we created earlier and we're going to want to change our output because we're no longer using the b enter html we're now going to want to output video earl now if you go to debug this you'll find that when you hit the start button it brings up the same web page it'll bring up all the document nodes however when it brings it up all the links you click will have the video URL instead and it will go there. Well, I've run through quite a bit in this video so join me next time and I'll be going over how to actually start changing your web browser to make it play in the Windows Media Player to stop navigation ahead of time and to do other things like that. Thanks again and remember to subscribe us. It's good for you.